sounding great. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. The uh, brand new album from you guys is out today, right? Yes. Congratulations. Hundreds of thousands, millions of billions. Yes. The name of the album. I feel like I should say that in like a Carl Sagan voice. Indeed. Billions and billions of stars. You're free to do that. Uh, yeah, is, is, that, is, that the, is that the relation to the album? Is it related to stars or anything like that? Tell me about the title and the and the. Uh, it is a phrase that is repeatedly seen in a lot of old ancient Buddhist texts. Okay. Which I'm really into. And uh, yeah, it's used to refer to all kinds of things. Like the, the amount of beings that live inside your body, the amount of beings that live all over the planet, sure. the amount of planets that are, you know, it's like a way of gaining perspective on how vast and also how minuscule things can be. The number of bacteria that we all have in us. <laughs> Indeed. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, you guys, this is this album. Now, is this the first one with the revised lineup for Blitz and Trapper? Or did you guys do a release before? Because I know that you went through well, a little bit of a lineup change. The last record got put out right during COVID, so we never really toured on it. Okay. Um, and then once we started touring, it was this lineup. Gotcha. Yeah. Speaking of touring, uh, you're kicking off your summer tour tonight. You guys are playing at the Aladdin Theater yeah. here in town. That's exciting. Uh, you're out on the road for a while, but being here in Portland, is there anything, anything in particular that you miss about this area when you're when you're out on tour? I mean, you guys have done this numerous times. There's got to yeah. be something that you always enjoy I mean, coming back to. Yeah, summer in Portland's the best. Yeah, everything's green and so nice. I miss you know you going on the road. It's not always like that everywhere. <laughs> but then you come back and you're like, oh my gosh, so many plants and trees and stuff. That's pretty cool. Coming back to the album, was this something that you guys, did you all work on this in, in Portland locally? Did you go elsewhere to produce it? How did that whole sort of process um, work? Yeah, I mean, I wrote it and did a lot of um, work at, at my place. But the the record was, was recorded actually at Nate's studio. He has some beautiful property uh, out in the woods uh, up in Washington. And yeah, we recorded it all all there. That's great. Yeah. Is that the sort of thing where you would sort of get out and about, walk around, get inspired to write songs, or did you kind of have things ready to go by the time you got to that, that location? Yeah, I usually have everything kind of ready to go, and, and uh, yeah, once we get in the studio, it's kind of like figuring out the details. Well, this is the what is this the eleventh album now from you guys? Does that know. sound about is right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it the eleventh studio album. Yeah, right. you guys have been at it for almost 11, twenty five years now. Yeah. Blitz and Trapper for twenty five years. That's yeah, yeah. Totally. That's I mean, that's an amazing run, you guys. That's <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it's been fun. Kind of looking back, you know, looking back on the band as a whole over this you know couple decades long history, you have have there been any sort of pivotal moments you would say that's kind of affected what you guys do sonically i mean at, like getting started how did it sound as compared to what's going on currently 2024 oh, i mean we learned so much when we started touring i think in the first three or four years uh, our sound changed a lot and evolved uh, because we were touring with lots of in really incredible groups you know fleet foxes and yeah. wilco and stuff and so i was always gleaning stuff from them and kind of working it into music um so i think our music's just evolved over the years to a point. Sure. And I think that that's what's kept it fun for, for me. Brian, a uh, question for you. I yeah. actually I saw you post this on socials, <laughs> and that is your your car, when you get into it and turn the stereo on, it does something interesting. Well, that's my – if I if I, have, I don't have a car, <laughs> and I, I get rentals whenever I have to play shows for my solo project. Okay. Leo Moon, everybody. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, whenever I plug it in, it always – I always play CNC Music Factories. Everybody dance now. So no matter what, every time. Eh, 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 everybody eh, dance. It's like, yeah, every time. And I can't figure out how to make it stop. There's worse problems. There's worse problems. I do want to make it stop if anyone knows how. So, I mean, but that's that's a jam, though. I mean, you're you don't appreciate yeah, but the. That's you know, always in that mood. The definition. Out, I've already ninety-one. Heard, I have already heard that song. <laughs> so I don't know why I knew that. Millions, of millions and billions of times. It was a great time, <laughs> but that was a great time. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Blitz and Trapper yeah, doing CNC so Music cool. Factory. On my command now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think we're on to something here, you guys. I mean, this is this is amazing. Um, you know what? And I have uh, actually, I got a really great question for you from Elaine Lindberg, who sent me an email. Elaine, are you here today? Elaine, right here. Hi, Elaine. Thanks for coming. I'm going to go ahead and read your question to the guys because this is a great one, and I I didn't think of this, so thank you for this. Uh, back in 2017, you guys had a stage production. It was called Wild and Reckless. It was at Portland Center Stage, and uh, Elaine says it was brilliant and amazing. And cool. she says that. Uh, She's oh, seen so many great you. music over the decades, but this production really stood out as one of the highlights. 
do you guys have any plans uh, of doing something like that again? Portland Center Stage or stage productions uh, in general? Not at the moment, yeah. Okay. That was a very unique opportunity we were given. Um, and yeah, that's a very rare type of show to happen. Sure. Um, and it it was and it was crafted over like a year or more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's a huge long process. But yeah, at the moment, no, we're not involved in anything like that. So what you're saying is the CNC Music Factory musical is still a ways off. Yeah, it's, still, okay. it's still just a dream. It's still yeah. just a dream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I will let you guys get back to it. Uh, we can see you tonight at the Aladdin. The brand new album from Blitz and Trapper is out today. Congratulations on that. Is this a flying V, by the way? It is. Wow. Yeah, it's my daughter's. That's co this is the first time I've seen a banjo and a flying V on the same yeah. stage. That's that's right. pretty amazing. Typical. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Keep at it. All right, once again, let's hear it for Blitz and Trapper, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.